Hey guys, what is going on? The Zip of Rage Quit TV gonna be casting another ladder game between Complexity's Cats and Check Six's Major. Major spawning as the Red Terran on the top right position of Taldrim Altar, and Cats spawning as the Blue Zerg on the bottom right hand side. And Major is saying, Are you Cats? Cats, come on, are you him? Because, of course, Katz does play on his account, Complexity Standard, and I wonder, well, I'm sure Katz knows that it's Major, the way he greeted him. And, uh, doesn't look like Major's too happy to be playing Katz, because when you play against Katz, you never know what you can be up against. And, uh, well, I don't speak whatever language they're speaking, so I have no clue what they are saying. This is a replay out of the Katz's replay pack that he just released, and, well... I picked the Major game because you all know I think Major's play is done awesome. He is an ex Boudoir player, has probably the worst manners out of any pro in StarCraft 2, which says a lot because his manners may be even worse than Idra's, but he still gets on teams like Check 6 that he's on now because he is just that good. He can back it up because he has some skill. He doesn't have just some, he has a lot of skill. I don't know exactly when this game was played, probably fairly recently within the past two or three weeks, so I'm going to be assuming Major does do the build I'm used to him doing, which is going for a reacted Hellion opener, but he does not get gas, so it looks like a one rax fast expand and then maybe into Hellions, I don't exactly know. And uh, Katz is going to be scouting as he puts down his pool. And Major, are you going to be 2 axing? Please don't. Please don't do that because that leads to very boring games. But it looks like he's saving up to build that command center. So yeah, we are going to see a fast expand from Major. And of course, Katz does go for the hatch first. That is very, very common. Uh, maybe we won't. He is getting his auto command supply depot. I'm pretty sure he is going to be getting that command center very soon. His SCV does scout, it is a command center first. Spawning pool has come up, four cats have gone down, whatever you want to say. Extractor is being built, and one million is coming out. We don't have anything just yet, he's going to hit 400 minerals, is he going to throw it down? Yes, he does, and he is very ballsy about his position. He's like, man, come attack me. And cats may not actually scout this natural just because, well... It's not what you normally do, and the Barracks is floating up. The Overlord's like, what are you doing? And now the Overlord does know. He's going to use that Barracks to give his one Marine vision and try to pick that Overlord off. He may have actually been able to get it, but he wants to kill the drone instead. He is getting double gas, so we will be seeing a factory relatively soon, and cats cannot steal the gas. The supply depots are up, and the drone is going to get out. A little bit of a mistake from Major. Allowing the drone to go out and he's going to be going back home or sitting on a watchtower. Every drone does help because if you didn't know, each drone is about 40 minerals per second. If it's not on the gold base, there are no gold bases on Taldor Malta, so you don't even have to worry about that. So every drone, think, hey, 40 minerals per minute. And I think it's 34 gas per minute. I'm not exactly sure on that one. Factory is being built. He is getting a reactor, so he will be going into reactor Hellions. I'm curious how many he builds just because he went for that command center first. SCV is going to come in and get a scout. Going to still see that uh, hatch, the spawning pool. No roach one, no extra gases. So Major is going to be knowing that, uh, well, Katz is going to go for a super fast layer so he doesn't have to worry about mutas, which is very good because he's not going to have that many Marines. He is getting a second factory, and he may just go mass Hellions at this point. That lair has started, and that is actually a fairly early lair. That lair will be finishing right around the 7 minute mark. If he puts down a Spire right after that, those mutas are going to come in so ridiculously early. They could come in around the 7th, well, no, they'd come in around the 9 minute mark if he rushes to mutas, but he's not getting more than just these two gases. Which leads me to believe that I have no clue what Katz is doing. He, <coughs> oh, excuse me. He may go for an infestation pit and go for fast infestors. 
but Mage is not one of the players that, well, he does go heavy. He goes main tank generally, so that may be a good call, but it doesn't look like he's doing that in this game. Getting the army out, he may be going like Hellion Thor. Going to the work account, it is 31 SCVs, 237 drones. And I am really curious what Katz is doing. That lair finished so, so early. And the Spire is coming out, so yeah, he will be having mutas around the, well, I guess 9 minute 30 second mark, which is about 90 seconds earlier than normal. Generally, you don't have to worry about mutas until 10, 30, 11 minutes. That's the general muta timing. But as you can see, Katz hasn't really built any lings. All his lover has gone to drones. So he can go for this ridiculously fast uh, Spire. He does have three queens to help wall. You can see the scan coming down because, well, Major hasn't seen anything yet. Sees a lair and he could know. Okay, that's pretty early because the lair is supposed to be finishing in about 30 seconds. I think the lair generally finishes at 8.30. I think that's the normal time. So Major's going to know something's up with that fast lair and his Hellion's not getting attacked yet. He hasn't seen any links. So he may be knowing that Muta's on the way and just massing Hellions, getting another base. The Overlord's going to come in, see double reactor to Hellions. And he may be a little bit happy about that because Muta's do pretty good against Hellions. Those Hellions not going in for anything. Scan does go down. He's going to be picking off the creep tumors. Leaves this one. And that's on like Major. He really wants to burst this down. Get in. Yeah, that creep tumor does live. Katz is going to be building more Evo chambers behind this. Getting even another spine crawler. Medivac does come out. Going to be lifting up the Hellions. Nine mutas are on the way. Major, does he have any anti-air? No, he does not. He has the army, so he could produce Thor's. Trying to get two, but he is supply capped right now. Hellions do get into this middle line. Going to be killing quite a few drones. And there's still just Hellions just sitting right here. And uh, this mirror is going to scare those Hellions off. The medevac, I believe, does go down, or maybe it retreated back home. Mules are landing in midst of all of these mutas. The Thors just now started. So the mutas have free lane over the base of Major. And that's what I was saying about getting those mutas out super early. I did not think Katz was doing it since he had the late gas, but my gas timing was a little bit off. Of course, Katz has better timings than me. And man, is he doing a lot of damage. But at the same time, Major appears to be doing an equal amount of damage. Both players have killed about 20 workers. Katz is still going though. Thor does come out and now those mutas are going to be falling. He is going to try to magic box this Thor, but Major does get the repair off on it. Another Thor does come out and those mutas just want to kill more SCVs. It's 16, 14 SCVs, 13 SCVs. You also got to keep in mind that Major does have his third base up. Even though it's not going to be mining, that is up to get mules out, more and more mules. And Major is going to be defending those mutas just by the skin of his teeth. And he'll be able to build three SCVs at a time while getting three mules at a time. And uh, those rocks not even down yet. More mutas going to be coming. But with double Thors, I think Major may be just fine from any Muta or triple Thor now. So yeah, Major should not be too scared of Mutas. They will be killing, I guess, the Mules, and that could be good. And Major probably just going to call them all down on one base from now on and protect this base. He is way, way, way undersaturated just everywhere. And those mutas are going to be taking a lot of volleys. And oh, they're even clumping up right there to pick off those SEVs. And Major is at 10 SEVs now again. That is what happens when you go for super fast mutas. And they don't do uh, much anti-air like Major going with this heavy, heavy mech build. And if Major was not supply capped when he wanted to build those two Thors, well, he would have been able to defend this. But this game all came down to Major being supply capped at that particular moment so he couldn't get his Thor count up so those mutas just did so much damage as we do see 44 supply to 71 supply Katz is going to start building units now as he does have I guess not two bases fully saturated well maybe he does 
Yeah, it looks like he's pretty good saturation on two bases. Just about perfect. And that's 23 Jones per base. So yeah, that is perfect saturation for two bases. He is getting his macro hatch up using his queen that he missed injects on to catch back up. And going to be taking his third base. Major is in a lot of trouble. These Hellions have to do a tremendous amount of damage. He does not have blue flames. And that's only five Hellions. These roaches can easily clean them up. Thor's on the way. And uh, Major going all in now, I believe. He only has 12 workers, so the damage he, has, he does here has to be tremendous. Going into the army size, we can see that Katz does have the larger army. But Thor's are definitely very scary, but the Zerchers get up close and personal and can just pretty much three volley these Thor's out. There goes the GG. Katz will be taking out Major. Again, this was just a ladder game. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to watch my cast live, I start casting almost every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So definitely check me out. Twitch.tv slash RageQuitTV. Take care, guys.